Hello there and welcome back to the story of Khaleesi Daenerys Targaryen. Now, a word of advice for you out there who are going to try and play this yourself. If you leave the game and you are playing on Iron Man mode, you cannot continue the campaign as a landless character. This is a uh, an issue at the moment, a bug at the moment. I'm sure they're going to fix it at some point, hopefully by the time you get around to playing. But if you are, um, do not stop playing until you have completed uh, some sort of thing that leads you to being landed because I have uh, I've just redone all previous progress but it is completely fine we are here at the same exact spot the exact same scenario and here we are with very much do it dead got checked out the first time but you know very interesting anyway we are in Pentos we are with Magistar Magistar Illyrio of Pentos and we might even be of age now. No, we're still 16. I mean, 15. We are going to quickly... Uh, give me a second here to click these uh, couple of things. We'll do the rest as time comes. They're not overly important, are they? We're just waiting for the next event. I am going to change my map to here. Very good. Now let's have uh, an update on the Seven Kingdoms. Joffrey is... Uh, Winning against Stannis, but barely. Wait, what? Yes, in favour of him. And he is uh, losing against Rob Stark. Rob Stark did not get the support of the phrase. Rob Stark has married Jane Westerling, who is pregnant with his baby. The Westlings, however, have not joined the North, which... I'm sure Rob is very disappointed at that. You marry a man's daughter, you expect some sort of alliance. But no, Walder, Walder is uh, not involved in the war. What is everyone else up to? So you're here, what is going on here? You are in both wars. So who has Joffrey married? Joffrey has married Marjorie. And Rob's uh, sister Sansa, she is still under the crown. Good for her. Stannis, uh, he's just being the manis, really. Probably wandering about with armies. Looking what he can get together. He's unified the Stormlands pretty well. Dawn is not involved. The Vale, not involved. Poor Robert. Where's Baelish? What is he up to? Oh, he's a High Lord now, is he? High Lord of all this. Well, Baelish is coming up in the world. Anyway, it is time for us to continue our story. Let's see uh, what happens. When the next bit of the story will uh, will occur. My nephew, I gasp. After a long, perilous sea voyage, strong Belwas has finally taken me to Pentos. Here, Illyrio takes me and my followers into his expansive mansion, where he treats me with courtesy. But we both know I am not here just to feast. He soon reveals his true plan. He claims my nephew Aegon is still alive, and was not killed all those years back during the Usurper's Rebellion. Apparently, he has been kept safe here, and uh, in the East, until such a time he can safely reveal himself. Now is the time, he says, for he has the support of the Golden Company. Ooh, that's a red sign. And I have the dragons. He proposes I marry my nephew, and in return the Golden Company and Pento shall help me invade Westeros and reclaim my birthright. That is very worrisome. Very worrisome. Because the Golden Company would never support a true Targaryen, so is this boy really my nephew, or is he some sort of pretender? Very worrying indeed. But I guess I have no choice. I'm here, really forced against my will, but it will be matrilineally. So I will be installed as queen. Whereas if this was really my nephew, he would come uh, ahead of me in succession. So why are they giving that up so easily? I do have dragons. We'll see. But I have no choice. So I have been designated Queen Daenerys Targaryen. Or Khaleesi Tana Daenerys Targaryen of the Great Grassy. And I am now landed. I have the Castle of Sunrise Gate. So I'm now a landed character. No more issues. And I have married my uh, nephew. 
A little bit of inbreeding isn't the worst. They're still free living members. We have our, uh, our great great grandfather still alive. He's 17, I'm 15, so he's a bit older than me for a nephew. Another reason why he would want to be in charge, he's a bit older. But I am his auntie, so it does sort of give me some sort of seniority. But we have now declared war on King Joffrey, who is not currently supported by his Lannister grandfather. Double grandfather. Oh, and Jaime has died. He was beheaded on the orders of King Rob Stark. Very good, Rob. You have beheaded Jaime and spared Lord Karstark. You are invading the north, and you are doing a pretty shite job at it, Lord Balon. How are your sons and brothers doing? Yes, Fionn is over there doing whatever he does. But it is time. We have the ships, we have the men. 12,000 golden company men. Let me sort out my council. As for commanders, we'll replace you with whoever is better. We have John Connington. We have Rolly Duck. We have Strong Belwas. And we have... Uh, Grolio. We'll put him in, in as well. Grolio, this old man. Can we give him a knighthood? Award honorary title? No, well... Whatever, I I want to keep my husband out of line of duty so we can try and try and do good, try and make this work. I'm going to take the ambition to have a daughter to increase my uh, chances of fertility. And we're just going to go through here and sort out some things. Uh, Lionardos, you can be that. Court tutor will make it the most intelligent fellow we have. Aegon, sure, can learn about him by having him teach me. The court poet, do we have a poety sort of individual at all? No, I'll, uh, I'll just give it to the homosexual John there. The court musician. I'll give it to this lady here. She, she can probably do it. And another bodyguard. I am going to select Sir Rolly Duck. Excellent. Now, men, get to the ships. The army will be led by, until I am of age, John Connington. He will take Sir Rolly and he will take Belwas. They will enter the ships and from there we will plan our invasion. An agreement has been reached with Aegon the Sea, Khaleesi, Daenerys Targaryen and Aegon Targaryen wed. And now the dowry is due to the groom's house? What do you mean? We are the same fucking family here. I would say a token gift is enough. I don't know you. You're getting to become a king out of this. Yes, with Illyrio's forces, we should be in a good position. We have plenty of men. The question is, where do we land? So you have armies. Who's leading your armies? You're leading in Mosebra. Where is Mosebra? Mosebra is over here. That's where the Lannister forces are. Your guardian is also a... He's also Mosebra. So it looks like the main forces are in Mosebra. How many men do you have? You have 35,000. He has 12,000. I have 12,000, so I have to be very delicate with what I do. Because until we have dragons, we are unable to do much here. So I'm going to land on the claw, and we're going to begin the Siege of the Whispers. I'm also hostile to Stark forces. And Baratheon forces under the control of Stannis. An old man by the name of Whitebeard has been serving in your court for the past few months. But it seems he is more than a simple old man. He reveals himself to be Barristan the Bold, dismissed from the usurper's king's guard. He begs forgiveness for withholding his truthful identity and tells you he's yours if you will have him. So, Barristan, I accept your service. Excellent. Barristan will be a great man. He is a great commander. We'll put him straight to work. But first, I will need a treasurer. Aegon can have the position. A court physician I cannot currently do. But we will go ahead and we will get that better commander, Grolio. You are going to be replaced by Sir Barristan the Bold, I'm afraid. Belwas, you're also going to be replaced by Sir Barristan. This is an excellent development. There are 12,000 men, but we cannot currently hold everyone, so we're going to have to storm this castle as soon as we can to up our ability to support ourselves. You did some thinking lately and decided that from now on, you were going to follow the rules and treat everyone with respect, no matter what. And uh, my husband will react. 
Fairness, duty, and mercy are important to me. I am an honourable person. Very good, but we have lost men to attrition. I am not happy about that. I have grown increasingly attached to Aegon, and though our marriage was merely a practical arrangement, I wonder if I have now come to love him. I will fall in love with the man. I don't feel comfortable touching other human beings. I have gained the chaste f ch uh, trait, but I am in love with my husband, as all things should be. A woman who loves her husband and supports her husband is the most important thing a man can have in his life. And uh, apparently uh, loving him is giving me diarrhea. I must be very nervous about, about this arrangement. Still, the whispers have been conquered. We are going to wait here in this terrain. And see what happens. There is also a dragonstone. Place of ancestral uh, significance. Who else are you fighting? Defense against him in a slave raid. Defense against him in a slave raid. But we'll wait here until I am of age. Now, when is my... Uh, the first moon. Ah, one four, one tenth moon. So we have a while. What is our supply limit here? We should be able to support our forces if we go for a northern crack law. I will have my ships on standby. There are Lannister forces around. There are also Tyrell forces, but we're not against Tyrell forces. Looks like Stannis has been around here. Ah, they're actually besieging. Our enemies there, Lord Euron Crozai. Euron Greyjoy is supporting us. And not trying to marry me. He married another woman. I have gained dysentery. This is awful. I have no court physician. I must acquire one at once. Is there a way to do this? Recruit a court physician. Excellent. Also, I can give a dragon to Aegon. Viserion, I will do that. I'll see if he really is who he claims to be. A man related to me would have no trouble with a dragon. Word has reached you of a much beloved old man named Harlano. That resides in a nearby village. The old man spends his days freely helping the villagers with various medical matters, such as concocting herbal remedies and amputating infected limbs. He agrees to take up residence in your court if you donate a large sum of gold to the village. A fair exchange indeed. So we now have a physician who I will seek treatment from, as I do not wish to die. Good sir, do uh, something as long as you know what you're doing. And I feel much better. That is terrific. That is the best we could have hoped for. And I will soon have a birthday and a victory in this siege. We will win this siege. I now feel better. Excellent. The man obviously knows what he is doing. And my regency is over. I am 16 years old. An adult. In the standards of these days, at least. Excellent. And it looks like the Pentoshi forces are going to be under attack. There's me. Relations my dragon. So I am not a dragon rider. Ah. Dragon. What can I do with my dragon here? Assign guardian. No, myself. Have faith, as Dutch Vanderlind would say. Right, what do we lack? There's something here. A designated regent. Well, uh, Jorah's been with us the longest. Why not? We have no reason to distrust that man. My army will return to the ships. We will go down and we will aid our Pentoshi allies. Or will we? They appear to have been driven out, but we could perhaps take on these other forces. Yes, the Pentoshi are remaining, so I will land here before they land there. I think... Excellent. I have saved the Pentoshi forces. A resounding defeat it would have been. But now we have to ensure that we have victory ourselves, which it appears we will do. We are defeating the Lannister forces, led by 
Willem Broom. Where's Benedict? Yes, yeah, Benedict Broom, he's nowhere near. He's not leading an army. Oh, we have actually been dismissed by his, uh, his more organized forces. Must try and retreat back to the ships without losing too many men. We have lost 2,000. Lady, I, Sir Barristan Selmy, request the right to take the black and join the Night's Watch. Barristan, you've only just joined me. You've only just joined me, you treacherous fool. Look at you. Who have you even killed? Simon Toyne, Hollard, Bailey's the Monstrous. Maybe he's heard about the great threat to the north. If it even exists. He didn't like that basil killing his uh, former countryman. He wants to go up north. But I'm just going to have to give him leave to go. What else can I do? For me, myself, I'm going to have to take the war focus here. And replace him as a commander. Grolio, you're back in. Where's my army? My army is... Yes, where, where's my army? My lady, news for King's Landing. Trial by combat. Beric Don Darien has done what? King Joffrey Lannister was defeated at the hands of his opponent, Sir Balon Swan. As consequence... Ah. Oh, wait, what? Beric was defeated at the hands of his opponent, Sir Balon Swan. Ah, I understand now. Okay, well, that is interesting. Where is my army? 4,000 men? What? Really? Why is... Why is it so low? Where are they? Seriously, wh where did my army disappear to? My, my command? Where... My army has actually disappeared. It, it is gone. My army is gone. My entire army has just been destroyed. And it said I only lost 2,000 people. There is obviously a bug going on here. I lost 2,000 people, but the entire army of 10,000 has just disappeared. What, what, is, uh, what on earth is going on? Anyway... Uh, let us see what you can do with the uh, with the rest of our forces here. What can I do with you? Not exactly much. With this army, we can uh, return and join forces with our good friends over here. Maybe attempt to besiege the capital. Yes, I only have one actual flank here. So we're going to give it to John. I'm going to hope that John can get in here. And can I see what flank is? failing the most well must have been the center because we haven't done fuck all to uh, to help there have we oh this is a god awful start to the war you can't get much worse than that we've we're down to 2900 people and we're going all the way over here that is really devastating you honestly cannot get much worse than that when it comes to war. Kraken and Dark Flame. A fleet has pulled into my harbour, bringing news from Westeros. News of war and betrayal. Its captain, a man by the name of Victorian Greyjoy, has come offering me passage back to Westeros and a means to control my wild dragons. If I'll give him my hand in marriage. I'm already married. The dragon and the kraken shall rule together. Lord Victorian can gain the trait of Dragon Rider. Uh, Rhaegar and Victorian become close friends. 300 ships. Non reinforcing. Maintenance free. No, he is no fit to consort. He really isn't. I've already got a husband who I've fallen in love with. I cannot be doing this. Victorian, angry that you have spurned him, has used a magic horn to tame one of your wild dragons before quickly sailing off into the night. He has taken Rhaegar? Oh, no. So he's a dragon rider. But I am not. There's something... Uh, there seems to be quite a few issues with the mod at the moment. I should be a dragon rider. 
Arriving with Victorian Greyjoy is a red priest named Mokoro. He brings word from High Priest in Volantis. I have been proclaimed as a Zor Ahai reborn, the long awaited saviour who will defeat the darkness and lead the world into a summer that does not end. And that even death itself will ned its knee. He pledges the temple support. I am very grateful. Oh, I have had my fill with sorcerers. I have had my fill with sorcerers. You may be gone. All these armies offering themselves to me, but what do I... Oh, I'm pregnant, and that is a good time to end it. Pregnancy, I'll see you guys next time. We'll uh, have a bit of a baby. A little inbred baby with white hair. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.